Welcome everyone, it's Vapor Dragomar. It's time for some more Raid Shadow Legends. Last time I did a lot of arena llama shoving. And in this episode, we are going to be cleaning up massive amounts of mystery shards in the hopes that I can do enough mystery shards to get enough champ chase points. to get going with the tournament. Because I've got to hatch a lot of stuff tonight. Like a boatload of stuff. just to stand a chance so I'm like there's all these mystery shards am I using these mystery shards for other purposes no I am not so yeah Might as well. I wish that was a llama, not a lumber. Because I can't use a lumber that was part of a different fusion. That was part of a different fusion. Can we get something crazy? Of course it's another fleshmonger. Why not? Itinerant. It's probably a dupe. And tree feller. Completely useless. Wonderful. I have zero chance of getting to the llamas, man. Zilch. Zilch llama chances of that. We missed that boat. Because we had to get lucky. We had to get a thing called lucky in order to get that. And that did not happen. That did not happen. Because in the end, in order to make champs work, you have to get lucky. And if you don't get lucky, well, you're screwed out of the champ for a while. And that's just the way it works. That is just the way it works. And there's no real way escaping that. There is no real way of escaping that. Is the is the dark reality 
of trying to do fusions is that this fusion this account's probably gonna have to skip it because I don't I do not see me getting the two thousand something points. I don't see it happening. It's just not happening for this account. Like it might happen on the other one. I got some luck. I got a legendary. The other account looks like it'll be able to complete the fusion. That one won't. There's no chance. There is no chance that it'll be able to do it. Zilch, zero chance. Please let that be a llama. Of course, it's this worthless snuff bar. And this person is slightly more useful. And this person's completely useless. Okay. Neat. Always take any of these when you can. Because, um... They give, they give you uh, a lot of help. I don't see this account getting the the arena llama, but I don't really care at this point. I have to do arena for here anyway. Gotta keep it going. That goes second part of my team where I can revive everyone really helps. But yes, I do need to shove arena on all these accounts. That's the biggest deficit I have with all my accounts at the moment is just shoving arena. That's what I got to do. No way around it. There's no way around it. Got him. Okay, well, that cleaned that up nicely.
So I got double llamas here. I still don't see their thing happening. I still have to I still have to shove the living hell out of arena just to just to um get the thing done yeah Okay, yeah, this tame is going to take all day. This is literally just like the ultimate version of a stall team. The ultimate definition of, of I'm going to stall you all day and you're going to love it. Yeah, this, that's the ultimate version of that. The ultimate version of that You know, this is going to take too long. I already got the measure of it from here. Give it a go, but I don't know if we can win this just from the sheer healing. 
The sheer hailing alone from this is going to be immense. Gonna wanna go for the sill first, obviously. In this situation, you don't want to go for the rest of them first, because otherwise, if you don't finish the sill, you'll never win. Yeah, I don't see how this is going to work either, because this account just is not good enough at Arena. It's just not advanced enough. So, that is the story of the Arena Shove Part 2. I just don't see how this account's advanced enough for this fusion. Not that it's not worth at least trying for the Drax fusion. Drax Fusion is still worth it. Always worth it. But yeah, I've already taken the measure of it. we go and I'm gonna leave it at that because we can do some of this tomorrow and I don't see me getting this other thing done anyway Maybe if I shove hard enough. Maybe I can get this arena one, but it's... It's a true long shot. The lower your account, the harder it is to do fusions, by the way. Because the less your account can do... And yet, usually, the more likely your account needs it. So it's got this paradox going on here. here I don't see me pushing arena just because the easy the days of gold being super easy are over that's the thing and I also think that the fusion requirements are uh, a bit excessive general for how much arena you actually have to do to make this work 
Cause yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. And the best I can probably do is a third llama. If that. At least for tonight. And that's if I shove Arena harder than I've shoved Arena in a while. Which it looks likely. It looks highly likely. But yeah, it, the reason I'm also shoving for this is because of the direct star fusion. As well as the fact this account needs arena. Badly. Because it needs... It needs arena to develop. That's the real truth. It needs arena or it's going to be starved of development worse than anyone else's account. Anyone else's alt account that's ever existed. It's going to really starve. So in order for it to not really starve, I need to uh, give it some help. You have to get rid of that guy. Getting this done might be a bit difficult. Okay, got the leech. This repeated decrease attack, I think, is doing wonders. Perfect, there we go. That's what I needed. I needed that. Why did I need that? Because I need to try to win this and other forms of arena.
At least I discovered the champion system exists now. Now I have to explore it. I have to look it up. What the heck is it about? Because I actually legitimately do not know. And um, it is terrible and unfortunate for me to admit that. That I don't know what it's about. But it's a reality. I don't know what the champion system is about. And I now have to learn. What's the champion system about? Can I? What can I do with it? It's, it's the reality. I don't like fighting Kaimar. He is really not my cup of tea. Why? Because he's a pain is why. Kaimar is a pain. He resets the cooldown of everything and he's just, he's a pain. The thing is, I don't know. Um, if I'm ever going to get a Kaimar or what account's going to get a Kaimar. Like, the thing about these champions is that at any point in time, one of these crazy characters that people have can just show up out of nowhere. So that's one thing to always keep in mind about these characters is you never know when or what, like how, these characters will get involved with you. You can never, uh... Ha ha. Jokes on you. I have resist. Jokes on you. I have resist. I don't know how hard I'm going to have to shove Arena to do this. But I'm assuming it's very hard. There's a reason I'm shoving Tag Arena almost as hard is because I know that by shoving Tag, I can get a lot done with the Drax Fusion and try to make sure that my Drax Fusion remains intact if at all possible. Now this may not be a hundred and fifty percent and that's why I'm stockpiling the bars anyway but at least I'll always have the bars available. I'm really looking forward to the champion system and how it works because I actually do not know because this will be the very first time I encounter that system which may sound ludicrously insane but uh yeah, this is gonna take a really long time I don't need that I do not need that. I'm trying to steal their buffs to make this easier.
Because right now, this is bitterly hard. And I'm trying to make this easier. Come on. So in terms of llamas, I'm saying that the first and third accounts are probably the winners. of the llama contest. Come on. Just kill this fool. Come on. kill him on this account because his account sucks it's that simple we have hit a stalemate Okay, so we just patiently keep whacking away at him. We keep stealing his buffs. We'll eventually get him. But dear lord, is this annoying. Wow. Just. Oh, I didn't want to lose to that guy, but oh, Vergus is so aggravating to fight. It is insane. Oh my god. You know how annoying it is when like an enemy is level 50 and still has like the durability of a lot of six stars? That's what that felt like. Like oh my god was that annoying. This is so hard. All this done. All this arena. And there's a reason I had to go for that. Come on. How far do I have to take this, man? Holy mackerel. How far?
Do I have to go for one stinking llama? Holy hell. It's just a llama, guys. Whatever, we're not beating this. I just realized we're not beating this. It's stupid. Oh, can we find something I can beat, please? Okay, number one thing we have to do is kill Shiramani. If we can kill Shiramani, we can restore orders of the Mundus, etc., etc. But I swear to God, it's going to be hard. On second thought, this was just a bad choice. I don't see me winning that. The fact they thought they were going to make a go second team at this level is cute, but it ain't going to work. Not really. It might. The only reason it might is because they have strength in with Deliana. Deliana, I don't like to mention she's actually half good, but I think she is because she's got strength in for one thing. And she has block buffs for another. She does decent damage, as has a leech. So overall, Deliana is actually not a bad champion. Which is going to tilt some people, because she's free. But, yeah, she's not actually terrible. And she's actually stronger than she looks. And she's good looking, too. Don't get me wrong. She's good looking. Is just she's stronger than she looks. She looks kind of tall, frail build. But again, she's a high elf, and they all are tall and frail build, no matter how strong they are. They could be freaking high kins for lists or worse, and they're still that long, lean build. thing that's annoying is even if you decrease the turn meter and everything of this guy he just doesn't he refuses to die he just refuses to die Okay, where are we at? We're close. Let's go mess with some campaign because I've got to clear missions. You know? So let's just clear three of this guy because I need specifically some stuff. Oh, I forgot I had to do that clan quest. Uh Have to 
think there's a clan quest. Are you serious? Thing is, I really want a bad Alcazar, but I don't know when and where I'm going to get one, is the thing. Because it's inevitable that one of my accounts, one of my three accounts, is going to have a bad L. The question is when and where. That's the question. The question is when, not the question is if. The question is when. It's probably sometime in the future. Reasonably far into the future because I didn't hatch one for this fusion. Hell, if I hatched one, I might even just call off the fusion. But I didn't get one, so... That, that's how big of a deal Bad El Kazar is, by the way. Just want to point that out. Before anyone thinks, oh, he's not valuable. Oh no, he's ridiculously valuable. I, I rate him higher than the Hellcat fusion. Mainly because he can solo most content. Solo Dragon 20, solo, solo Dragon 25, solo a whole bunch of stuff, you know? He, same with Mashald. If you get Mashald, he can just take over. Like, he's just that powerful that if you have Mashald, you can just twist your hand and just blow everyone up. And it's like, okay. The people that are most likely to get Mashald, though, are the people that need it least. The pay-to-play players that probably have Brogni and a million other champs. They're the ones, unfortunately, the most likely to pick a Mashald or get a Mashald. That is the reality of the matter. I just need one more. Let's try this one, even though it's got a two more in it. That might have been a mistake. The problem is their cartoon is too bloody fast. That's the real issue here. Their cartoon is too fast. It's just the reality of it. Oh wait, did we do it? We did it! We got the llama! I don't care, we got the llama. That's all we needed to do is get the llama. That's all we needed. I'm content. We got the llama. Okay. We did it. We got the llama. That's what matters. And I don't... S oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And the reason I'm saving for this fusion is because this fusion, I can 100% guarantee that I can get Drex. I can't guarantee any other fusions because bad things can happen, requirements are not met, yada yada yada. But Drexthar, I can guarantee that because I ha I'm well practiced in the art of Drex. And that inevitably is why I'm going to be able to get it in the next episode. We are going to be continuing on doing champ training and stuff. I will see you all then. Did it.